Hello everyone. How are you doing today? Are you ready for a story? The pottering pig is going to be today's story. The author of the story is Rohit Kulkarni and the illustrator is Priya Kurian. And the publisher of this book is Pratham Books. Lalita is the pet pig of Mini Singh, the potter. Mini loves his pig and lets her do whatever she wants to do. Now, pigs do all sorts of pig-headed things and that's what Lalita does as well. So this is Lalita, the pig, the pet pig. And this is the potter, Mini Singh. Potter is someone who makes pots. Someone who works on clay and makes pots and other things out of clay. He's called a potter. So this is Mini Singh, the potter. And he has a pet pig named Lalita. And he loves his pig a lot, his pet, right? So he loves it a lot. And he lets the pig do whatever she wants. And pigs are pigs. Pigs are stubborn creatures. They do pig-headed things. What is pig-headed? Pig-headed is something where you don't listen to anybody or you don't uh, obey or listen to anybody's instruction. They are stubborn and they do whatever they feel like. And that's exactly what Lalita does as well. Let's see what exactly Lalita does. Harump, harump. Lalita pushes stones all over the neat paths. In the garden where they've made neat paths for people to walk, what does Lalita do? She's a pig. She moves a lot of stones on the nice path, making it tough for people to walk. <coughs> She snorts and digs up the garden. So what else does she do? Pigs have this large snout, right? The nose which is large and front it comes this way. So through that, what is snorting? Making a noise through your nose and mouth is called snorting and that's what pigs do. And Doing that, what does she do? She digs up the garden, making a mess in the garden as well. <coughs> Lalita tears up all the newspapers, even the one Minnie hasn't read yet. Not just that, what does she do? She tears up all the newspapers, even the ones that Mini Singh has not read yet. She's a pig. She doesn't know whether it's the latest newspaper or old newspaper. She sees a newspaper, she starts tearing them up. So that's what she does. Brrr, brrr, brrr. She blows bubbles into her water bowl and spills water all over. She has a large bowl of water. And what does she do? Uh, she goes and blows bubbles into the she does so that bubbles come out. So like that she she plays in the water and in that process what happens? All the water spills down from the bulb, making a mess again. Chapuk, chapuk. Lalita chews up all the lilies and scares the fish in the pond. Not just that. Lalita seems to be very naughty, right? She goes to the pond and chews up all the lilies. There are beautiful lilies in the pond. She chomps and eats them up and scares all the fish in the pond. They're all very scared when Lalita enters the pond. Lock her up, says Minnie's eye. Tie her up says Minnie's tie. Never ever, says Minnie. She never ever messes with my pots and jugs. 
So Minnie is fond because it is his pet. But his eye and thigh, what is eye? Eye means mother in Marathi. Minnie Singh's mother says, just lock her up. She's just doing a lot of mess around the house. So just lock her up. And Thai means elder sister in Marathi. So she says to Mini Singh, tie her up. Either put her in a cage. That's what Mini Singh's mom says. Put her in a nice cage or tie her up. Put a nice rope around her neck and tie her up to a post or something. That's what Mini Singh's elder sister says. But Mini Singh is not happy about both the suggestions. He says, no, 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 I will never do that. She is my pet and she never messes with my pots and jugs, the ones that he makes out of clay. They will be very fragile, right? If you drop them, they'll definitely break. But so far, Lalita has not messed up or any of his pottery. So Mini Singh says, no, no, no. She's my pet and she doesn't mess around. So I'm not going to tie her up or put her in a cage. One day, Minnie comes to work bright and early. He whistles happily to Lalita. Harum, harum. She grunts back. One day, what happens? As usual, Minnie Singh comes to his workplace and he's bright and happy. And he starts whistling happily to Lalita the pig. And the pig is also happy to hear him in a jolly mood. So she also grunts back. His happiness vanishes when he sees broken bowls, shattered jugs, cracked cups, smashed teapots everywhere. So all his happiness just vanishes, disappears. What happens? Why does it disappear? Because when he enters his pottery room, he sees that the bowls that he has made they have been broken. Jugs that he had made and kept it in the shelves, they have been shattered. Shattered meaning broken into tiny pieces. And their cups have been cracked. Crack is, again, it is broken. And more teapots smashed completely into pieces. All of them broken. And he's shocked. Broken pieces of pottery everywhere. Minnie gets angrier and angrier and angrier. Minnie is now, Minnie Singh is getting, that's it. He was jolly, happy, whistling, right, around. Now what has happened? He is angry, getting more and more angry with time. And look at his face, it's red. He is extremely angry now. Let us see what he is going to do now. He ties Lalita up under the shady Bogan Villa. So he's so angry that he has decided that he is being too nice to Lalita and ties her up to a Bogan Villa tree. Lalita doesn't understand why she is tied up. She whines and whimpers. She cries and sighs, but Minnie is too angry to listen. So what happens? Minnie Singh is angry because all his pots are broken. But poor Lalita doesn't know why she is being tied up. And she is not happy about the situation at all. So what does she do? She starts whining. Whining is making a soft sound of disapproval. Basically saying that she is not happy with the situation. Something like complain about the situation. Whimper. Giving out soft cries because of either fear or pain. Now she is probably has uh, the fear that she might be tied up all the time. So out of that she is giving these soft cries saying, showing her disapproval and that she is not happy about the entire situation. She cries and sighs, again showing all her 
disapproval with all her grunts and whimpers and all those things she's showing her disapproval she's quite unhappy about it but mini singh is in no mood to be nice to her now because he's very angry now all day mini works angrily and lalita stays tied up then mini hears a noise it isn't a harm it isn't a har it isn't a grr it isn't a purr and it isn't a chapak or a chapak mini is now very angry and he is still working on his spots and lalita is tied up with this situation he hears some noise and it is none of the noise that lalita makes it's not the horn or the horn or the japak or the chapak nothing none of the usual sounds that lalita makes let us see what sound that he is hearing meow crash meow thunk it is a large orange cat it is the large orange cat that knocked over the pots and jugs so it was not lalita not the pet pig but it was a large fat orange cat and it is meowing and going through the the already made pots and breaking them so he has now come to know that it is not lalita who had done all this mess mini antais lalita harum harum she grunts lalita chases the cat round and round and right out of the pottery mini immediately unties lalita and lalita knows that she has to shoo away the big fat orange cat so she grunts and chases the cat they go round and round and she finally chases the cat out of the the pottery place then lalita goes right back to doing pig headed things because that's what pigs do so now that she is clear of all the issues mini sing is again happy and he feels that his pet pig has saved him from a lot more damage from the from the orange cat so he doesn't tie her up uh, uh, any more and she does all her pig headed things because why she is a pig and that's what she is supposed to do let us look at some of the difficult words that we saw in today's story pig headed refusing to do what other people want or to change your opinion or the way you do something so just being stubborn is called pig headed snots to make a noise by blowing air through the nose and mouth like that that's called snot shattered broken into very small pieces is called shattered whines to complain about something in an annoying crying voice is called whine whimpers to cry softly especially with fear or pain try this question do you have a pet if you do then describe about the naughty things that your pet does if you don't have a pet imagine a pet animal and make up a story of the naughty things that that pet animal would do did you like today's story lalita was very naughty right but mini singh was so fond of her i really enjoyed today's story i hope you did too until we meet next time this is bye from saumya